Hello guys! Today we have the last day of summer transfer window, the most intense and emotional period to experience. Press like and subscribe to the channel to be aware of all the necessary updates. By the way, write in the comments below the top transfer that you would really like to see today. And while you're writing, we proceed to start. Let's get going! Manchester City have extended the contract with Ruben Dias until June 30, 2027, according to the club's official website. Bayern Munich have signed Leipzig midfielder Marcel Zabitzer for 16 million euros. Earlier on, the Munich team stole the Bulls defender Diopa Meccano and the head coach Julian Nagelsmann. Tottenham has agreed with Barcelona the purchase of Emerson Royal for 30 million euros. Fabrizio Romano writes, We note that back in June, the Brazilian defender returned to the Blaugranas from Betis. Milan have loaned Chelsea midfielder Timuya Bakayoko with a buyout option until the summer of 2023. I had the feeling that Ronaldo's move to Manchester City would not take place and United would definitely intervene. Cristiano will have a significant impact on the team. The Guardian quoted Wayne Rooney. Juventus is interested in PSV midfielder Mohamed Ihatarin. The transfer can cost turns from 5 to 6 million euros. Usam Awar will not leave Lyon on the last day of the transfer window. Tottenham and Arsenal were interested in the Frenchman this summer. Atalanta has been boosted by the midfielder of AZ, Tan Kompeners, informs the press service of the goddess. Ederson is the next player for Manchester City to update his contract, says the Times journalist Paul Hurst. Antonio Conte will be working as an expert in Sky Sports this season. Chelsea received an offer from Leicester for the midfielder Callum hudson Football London reports. Barcelona hopes to get one more striker before the transfer window closes. Van Dijk is the best defender in the world. Virgil is fast, strong, and bloody smart. The Norwegian edition of Varden's Gunk quotes Erling Holland as saying. Hansi Flick had his first training session as head coach of the national team of Germany. Arsenal and Willian terminated the contract by mutual agreement, according to the Gunners' official website. Atletico Madrid is convinced that Kieran Trippier will stay at the club despite Manchester United's interest. It was not strange for me to see him in another shirt, this is life, said Lionel Messi's father Jorge Messi in an interview with El Golazo de Gol. Brunsel Kimpembe has doubts about his future at the Parisian club, this season will play a defining role for him. Flamengo offered David Luiz a two-year contract. Benfica is also a contender to get the Brazilian ready to sign a one-year contract with him with an option to extend it for another season. Tengai and Dombly wanted to move to Bayern, Barcelona or Real, but Tottenham could not agree to sell him. The French midfielder will remain in London, the athletic writes. Schalke defender Ozan Kabak became Norwich's player. It will be a loan with an option to purchase for 14 million euros. Last season, the Turk performed for Liverpool. He likes Mariba left Barcelona and moved to Leipzig for 15 million euros. Messi is the best in history. Lionel is loved even by those who didn't support Barcelona or PSG. La Gazzetta dello Sport quotes Marco Verratti. Leeds has signed Manchester United winger Daniel James for 28 million euros, according to Fabrizio Romano. Juventus has decided to abandon the loan of Milan Pjanic from Barcelona. The source is Go Italia. Arsenal and Wolverhampton are the only Premier League teams this season which were not able to score a single goal in the first three match days. Marcel Zabitzer will play for Bayern Munich under the 18th number, which previously belonged to Leon Goretzka. Troy Deeney left Watford after 11 years at the club and moved to Birmingham City. The contract is valid for two years. Roma terminated the contract with Javier Pastore, according to the information from the press service of the Yellow and Reds. After the purchase of Cristiano Ronaldo, a total of 3.7 million users subscribed to Manchester United social media accounts. And now, we are to dive into the main news of the release. The latest top transfer saga is over. Real Madrid is out of negotiations on Kylian Mbappe, according to RMC Sport and L'Equipe. The PSG striker will not move to the Royal Club during this transfer window. 
After the Galacticos offered Parisians 170 million euros plus another 10 million euros in bonuses, another rejection followed. Then, according to sources, Royale announced its readiness to make a third offer for 200 million euros, but PSG again snubbed the possibility of further discussions. Due to a misunderstanding of the position of the Red Blues, Madrid decided to end negotiations and focus on reaching an agreement with Mbappe in January, picking him up as a free agent by the summertime. Real Madrid was confident that they had done everything possible to buy the Frenchman, but PSG's reluctance to compromise brought all efforts to naught. By the way, Julian accepted Madrid's position and mentally prepared himself for the last season at PSG. He will definitely not renew his contract with the current club, although the attitude of the president Nasser al Hilafi has not changed anyway. The Qatari functionary will not stop offering Mbappe newly improved agreements. Well, for those who still believe that the transfer of Kylian to Real is possible, there is a small and encouraging update from the publication Cadena Ser. It goes at odds with all the previous sources, but it still has a place to be. Today, Los Blancos will do their best to sign their main name. Money is not an issue, as everything depends only on the dialogue with PSG. If the leadership of the Persians just gets in touch, Real will be activated trying to resolve the issue in the last hours of the transfer window. Be that as it may, Real still played it safe, deciding to somehow please the supporters on the final day of the transfer summer. The Marengues are about to close the deal with the run over the midfielder Eduardo Camavinga. This night's information was published by the sources Canal Plus, Telefoot, The Athletic and Marca. The transfer has not yet taken place at the release time of this video, but the clubs have already reached an agreement. Real will pay run just over 30 million euros, including bonuses. We recall that Kamavinga's contract with the Red and Blacks expires in a year and this fact has significantly reduced the player's price. Authoritative insider Fabrizio Romano claims that the terms of a personal contract have already been agreed upon. Eduardo's contract with Real Madrid will run until June 2026. Real Madrid's portal also confirms the deal, sharing the news from player's agent Jonathan Barnett who has confirmed the negotiations between clubs over his client. The representative of the 18-year-old midfielder noted that Kamavinga always dreamed of playing for Yao and therefore did not even consider the option of a possible transfer to PSG. Wow, how simple things turned out to be. The guy should definitely share his experience with Mbappe. The viewers who carefully watched the news at the beginning of our release are already aware that today Barcelona will try to formalize their last summer signing for the position of a striker. According to information from the radio station Rock One Catalonia, the Blaugrana's priority target is Joao Felix from Atletico Madrid. Barca has sent a request to Los Colchoneros and is waiting for a response. The deal will not include a buyout option, as it is solely about a one-year loan. Let's switch to England for a bit, where Chelsea's not losing hope trying to arrange a loan deal for Atletico Madrid midfielder Saul Niguez. Gold journalist Ruben Uria writes that the Blues suggested Indians the loan with the option of further purchase. However, the source adds that this story will carry on until the last minute of the transfer window. Chelsea still has some time until the end of the day, but before releasing Saul, Atletico wants to do a thorough market research and sign a replacement player. Let's see how both clubs will act in the end. Cristiano Ronaldo could still get the seventh number at Manchester United, and here's how it should happen. French journalist and commentator Tanguy Le Sevier tweeted that after the sale of winger Daniel James to Leeds United, the number 21 will be vacated, which was occupied by the Welshman. It is this number that will soon pass the striker Edinson Cavani. With it on his back, El Matador has been playing for the Uruguay national team for many years and therefore won't mind such changes. This rearrangement will lead to the fact that the iconic seventh number will return to Cristiano Ronaldo, not contradicting the regulations of the English Premier League. The management has already reported that according to the regulations, Cavani cannot directly transfer the seventh number to Ronaldo, but in case Edinson simply abandons it and takes the vacated 21st one, then everything seems quite logical. Let's hope that the Premier League will not have complaints for Cristiano getting his jersey with his sweet number 7 on the back once again. Dear friends, make sure to support our new channel Vamasito with your views and subscriptions. You know, we don't release bad videos. Watch the premiere episode and enjoy the show. It was Football News. Have a good one and see you in a bit.